It is time to hunt opening morning. Last two crunch traps, boys. Mm. Sounded crunchy. That was far. She's going, she's going, she's going, she's going. He gone. Shoo! We're going duck hunt, ladies and gentlemen. We are headed to the brand new lease for the very first time. But I gotta let you guys know if you use promo code FLAIR, you can save yourself money at checkout at ducksweaterfowl.com. If you're wondering, what does ducksweaterfowl.com have? Well, you're gonna have to go there yourself to check it out. But I got a few things laid out here. Look at these shoes right here duck hunting camo shoes. We've got hats, we've got base layers with the little like buff thing that covers your face. You look like a ninja. Look, we got brand new spanking boots that are 100% waterproof. We got quarter sip base layers, regular base layers. We've even got our own marsh seat now look at this marsh seat right there folding collapsible easy for transport you ever go out hunting you're throwing out decoys you're picking up decoys your hands are froze not anymore ladies and gentlemen we've got right here 100 waterproof decoy gloves that if you wear you can see your hands all the way underwater and it will not be cold we've also got dry bags we got the hat banjos wearing turn around banjo let's see it bam look at that hoodie freedom mallard action we got the hoodie jake's wearing and the hoodie i'm wearing it's my personal favorite it's extremely extremely warm plus the hat you got there the hat i've got on here and a ton more all the calls that we're using, lanyards, you name it. If you guys duck hunt, there's something over at ducksweaterfowl.com that you guys would enjoy. And remember, you save yourself some money by using promo code FLAIR at checkout, which is linked down in the description down below. We are headed out to the lease on opening day to hopefully shoot some burst. You guys stay tuned. Shoo! All righty, folks, made it out to the lease. It is time to hunt opening morning here at the brand new leased property. We brought the old ducks trailer. You guys haven't seen this sucker in a minute. Lucy, you excited? We got a bunch of decoys in here. We've got the old ranger here and we're going to get loaded up. Probably take a couple trips because we're going to set out a pretty good spread today. We're planning on throwing out some duck decoys, some goose decoys. Did you tell them what happened today? No, I hadn't informed them yet. <laughs> uh, well, we made it here and then I'm like, hmm, we're supposed to be here at 615. It's 615. It's 620. It's 625. Where's Big Junior? So we call Big Junior. Hello? <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? Uh, I'm in bed. Why are you in bed? My alarm didn't go off. Jeez. I said, well, we got ducks to kill in 45 minutes. You better get your ass out here. He slept in on opening day of the season for this place. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. So anyways, Jake and I are out here. We're going to try to get, get started. No help from Big Junior. Well, he's supposed to stop for pre-breakfast, so that's the best part. He's gonna, he, yeah, he's going to be real late. We will have a good breakfast, so that's good. So if, if he rolls up late without pre-breakfast, we're going to have problems. But inside the old duck trailer, we've got it rigged out. we got all the honk daddy floaties. We've got the full bodies. We've got all the duck floaters. And, uh, Luke, hey, why are, you, why are you freaking out? I'm most excited because it's really cold today and we will be in the pit line with some heaters. That's gonna be the best part. So, we've never hunted this place before. It could be really good, it could be really bad, but since the cold front just hit, I feel like there's gonna be some birds migrating. That's the plan, you guys stay tuned. Tank's loaded up, we made it. So our pit blinds, where's she at? There she is, found the old pity. Probably should do something with them nice bright buckets. But pity's over here, we'll have to uh, take the panels off. But it's, it's here, there's a blind here, I promise. That's all the water. So it doesn't look like it's iced up or nothing. Is it open? Nice and open, baby. All right, well, we got not as much water as I would like, but it's enough, it's enough to shoot birds. So we've got the uh, field geese, for around the pit, floater ducks. Since we're not big juniors, help. We gotta start hauling ass. So we'll get you guys an update once it spreads out. Phew, look at that spread, ladies and gentlemen. Mm-hmm. Yep. I, if I was a duck, I'd come here and die. What do you think? There's a lot of good looking grass in there. I think it looks good. We've got the old pity open. You guys remember the, the tour video? Lucy's down there hanging out. She's ready to go get them or something. But pit's ready to go. We've got some honkers in front. I'll try not to shoot these ones. Hey, well, these are yours. Shoot them on. Oh, okay, good, <laughs> perfect. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Sun's coming up. I think shooting light was 7.15. We have three minutes. We have three minutes. We have three minutes. Yeah, I can't see nothing. I could be, I could be wrong, but it's it's within like 10 minutes for sure. <laughs> Hey, I'll have to double check real quick. Either way, I don't know. We're getting in the blind. Big Junior said he brought pre-breakfast. I don't know what he brought, but for actual breakfast, for chefing it up breakfast, we are going to be making crunch wraps. Breakfast crunch wraps. Like you get at Taco Bell, but better. <laughs> Yeah. 
kill him. There it is, nice. Oh boys. Big. We're rocking and rolling. I think them were mallards, weren't they? I think so. Lucy, Those Lucy, first couple. Lucy, Lucy. Hey, Lucy, down. calm down. We got three down. Not the best shooting, but honestly, it's still pretty dark out. I, I, I shot that first one. The other ones that I lost, and Big G and I clapped those last two, and the rest of them got out. The only ones that really finished on the decoys was those three. The rest of them were a little ways out. All right, let's go see what Lucy can find. Fetch! Watch out! Watch out! Good girl! Here! Here! He's a Drake Mallard, boys. Is it? Yeah. Drake Mallard, boys. First duck at the new lease, that's gotta be worth something, yeah, right? Hey, that's gotta Come be Come here, good. girl. Look at that stud. No way. Oh, God, yeah. First duck at the new lease is a Drake Mallard. Come on, now. First one of the season. First one of the season, baby. Sheesh. There it is. All right, let's get the other two ducks. We had a group of teal land over there. They just got up, actually. Lucy, Lucy, hey, 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 fetch. I think we got some widge, boys. Some nice widge. Widge, boys. The old widge and baby. Sheesh. Watch out. Two, two, two. Kill him. Hey, Big Junior. With the old double. Big Junior. Big Junior. Holy oh. smoke. Easy, Lucy. Easy, easy, easy. easy. That easy. one's probably going on the wall. Dude. Oh, Big God. Junior. <laughs> Big yeah. Junior, look at that, bro. Look at the tail on him. Oh, oh, oh man. my God. He's got some oh, cotton man. on his head, does he not? It's October. <laughs> this thing is studded out. I think the other one died up the here in the grass. Right here, I got it. You got it? Hand and a Drake. Yep. Another Widge. Pair. You Sweet. putting them on the wall or what? Yeah, honestly. There it is, buddy. Oh, right. <laughs> That's two more boys. She'll grab them. Nothing for the swamp panther. The old panther. Where? Oh, it dove. It dove. It dove. It's behind her. It's behind her. Hey. Luckily, we're not in a lake. She got it. Her head underwater. Here, Lucy. Here, here. Come here. Hey, hey. There's another one. Lucy. Hey, Lucy. Come here. No, Lucy. Fetch. Oh, actually, I might actually put the pair on the wall. Here comes one right behind us. I laid on my back. He's coming over here. I couldn't get on him fast enough. That dude was freaking Mod 10. All right, boys, stacking them up, baby. I think the new lease ain't bad. Is it the new lease paying off, baby? <laughs> Celebratory pre breakfasty. What'd you get? Apple Danish? Go Red. God, yeah. Red. Banjo's not here, so Ban you can beard off, huh? Yeah, Banjo, Banjo, Banjo's not Banjo, here, so we could... Banjo bailed. Yeah, but we, we could have a we're having some variety. redemption with some Danish. It's always chaos, the first group, because you you know you either don't send the dog, and then you risk you know forgetting where they are, or you send them, and they can smell the Danish. <laughs> See, the Danish got fired up already, boys. We hadn't even, we didn't even let it air out that long. Mm. Oh my god. Oh. oh. Whoever's chefing up in the back of Walmart, you got it down, buddy. Do they have a Danish guy? I don't know, but he's, he needs a raise, bro. That stuff's good. I think Big has got to be on breakfast from now on. Oh, shit. See, I told you you could smell it. What are you talking about? Up top, up top. Up. On the left, way up. <laughs> Made me drop my Danish for what? <laughs> his fist has got his Danish dirty. <laughs> He's had enough. See you later, pal. There's a no fly zone here, boys. Wow. <laughs> Good lord, son. She gone. Wow. What do you think about that one? That one died. That one's not alive. No. No, you're right. <laughs> Atta girl. Hey, here, here, here. Come here, girl. Lucy, here. Bring it over here. Bring it over here. She put it in the pile. Thanks, Lucy. Directly at me. 
Sheesh. The old Widge Daddy. Well, that's four for me. Four for Big Junior. We only got two left apiece. Four pack will finish it. I say, if we would have just shot all the million teal, we'd be done by now. I'm not protesting teal, but it'd be nice to get some big ducks. Some more big. Oh my God. Don't. Well, you're probably good right now. Just oh, let them do their in. thing for a second. Because golly. Or you want to I'm going to let them go past me yeah. and I'll slide in. Holy smokes. Lucy, stay. <laughs> All right, Big Junior's Limit, I only got one. I was dazed and confused when I got up, to be honest with you. Yeah, the wind switched. They're kind of coming over our back is our problem. <laughs> yeah, them which do it. Yeah. Mallards. Are, are they gaddies? I believe so. Oh, really? I, think so? I yeah. see a lot of white on that one. Yeah, I, by the time I got up, and I, I was all sorts of. Whack, the problem but... is they're landing away from us, so yeah. you gotta go real quick. Yeah. They, they were getting farther. They were farther than I thought. Well, we're gonna go out. Let's go. Let's go find those birds, loose. We're gonna adjust some decoys. Seeing those ones work in like that really sealed the deal there and made us, made us realize the wind did switch. Yes. Yep. Well, it's almost, ba it's almost baking 32, so. <laughs> Between moving some decoys, Big Junior being limited. Good girl. Does that mean you're chefing? Sure, yeah. Really? Yeah. I'll chef it up. Come on, Lou. Girl. Look at her, she's grabbing two. two. No, she dropped it. You dropped Rip. it. She tried. Effort. Bring it here, girl. Hey, hey, right here. Drop. Okay, catch. We'll get the other one. Hey, catch up. There you go, baby. She. Get that other bird, Lucy. Come here, Lucy. Come here, Lucy. Yeah, that's a good one. Good girl. All right, come here, Lucy. Place. We got one more. Lucy, catch up. Good girl, bring him in. Bring him in. Gaddy McFaddies, boys. It's getting colder, but the wind's not out of the north like it was. It's interesting, but it's literally ripping. They're wanting to land. It's going like this. They're wanting to land behind us. Before you saw them today, they're going. Hey, come here. Headshot plus 50. All right, so decoy wise, Big Junior's moving the geese over here. You think they're going to keep coming? Like, you watch those mallards. What they, do they want to do? They want to get out over the end of the pit and just slide in like this. Just right here. They slide in like this? Yeah. So, so basically, you, you want to take this? A big hoop. All right. Well, I'll move some deeks. Hopefully, I can get one more and then you're up. Does that mean Big Junior's on camera duty? Sure. <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> well, we, hopefully, you guys got motion sickness medicine popped because this is about to get a little, a little frisky. The old ducks long range done. Woo! I you don't like know. that, Big Junior? <laughs> that was far. Yeah. Look at her. She's Good way girl, out there. Lucy. Hey, I think we better let it rip, baby. We got bacon to cook. Oh, there she goes, boys. Sheesh. We're gonna get some uh, some eggs and bacon cooking. Big Junior, you big bacon cooking guy? Sure. You know how to cook bacon? I guess that's what my question should have been. I'll just string it out for you. Oh. Yep. So we're gonna cook bacon. Then the key, this is key, cook the hashies in the bacon grease. Extra clogged arteries for you. Yeah, that sounds healthy. And then I'll work on scrambling a bunch of eggs. And once the bacon's done, we'll tear up some of the bacon, put it in the scrambled eggs, and then we're gonna make some crunch wraps. Celebratory two man limit crunch wraps. Well, hopefully the geese show up at some point. All right, boys, once the bacon's cooked, I'll give you guys an update. Hopefully, shoot some birds. All right, boys, crispy bacon. Good job, Big Junior. He passed me the torch. Put that somewhere safe. Somewhere, somewhere it won't get lost. So now, here's the key. These guys. In the bacon grease. Huh? Straight into the grease, boys. You lay them away from me. I see you that. See, see, I like would it. not have done that, but I see why you do that. Yeah. This will get them real crispy. If you don't, they are still good. But they tend to get a little soggy. These will be a, like a literal crisp. And since we're doing a crunch wrap, we need the crunch factor. So that's why we do the, the grease. So cook that them up. Smells so good. There you go. I'm gonna pass it back to you. I gotta start on eggs. 
Now that the bacon's done, I can start the eggs because I'm gonna mix the the bacon in the eggs. So that way it's all just one big. So we're gonna go ahead and get the butter going so she don't stick. All right, so we're gonna crack all these eggs in here. Scramble them. All right, eggs are in, boys. Oh yeah, all meat in those eggs too. Yeah, we're gonna get some all meat in there. I brought Jake's favorite. Verde sauce. Yeah, I love that. That's the good stuff here, boys. Ducks all meat in there. Yeah, start chucking some in. The key is to mix the bacon in so then it holds the bacon in place. You don't need bacon. Because as soon as you take a bite, then bacon falls out. It's not good. All right, well, I'm going to scramble this. How are those? Oh, golden. Can you see that down there? <laughs> golden and crispy, boys. Then we're going to be good. So as soon as those are done, we'll take them off. Once these eggs are scrambled, we'll take them off. And then we got to heat up the tortilla, build the crunch wrap, fold it, put it in the pan. That's going to be tough here in the blind without a table, but <laughs> we're going to make some magic happen. All right. You know what I'm saying? You ever see those TikToks, ASMR, where they <laughs> on like some food? So, bam. There's that. Okay. Look at them eggs, boys. Bacon and eggs. Bacon and eggs. See, you, you will get some, I promise. Okay. Yeah. We're getting somewhere. Watching a master work here. I wouldn't say that. This is this, this is, is tough. Impressive. You did that really oh right, baby. God. Look at that. You know how good this is gonna be. <laughs> then you just you just toast her on there until it's nice and brown and that's your crunch wrap. I like it. Never made these. Made, never made them in the duck blind. The first time we made them this year, we actually ground up duck. So maybe we have to, we have to go shoot them. Big has got to get the generator out and got to use the grinder or something. I'd probably cut it small enough. Or you do a crunch wrap catch and cook. That would be in good the bad. blind. In the blind. In the blind. So that'd be pretty good. So, all right, we're gonna get a few of these chefed up. We'll let you know how they taste. Guy. Whoa, what's going on there? That was far. That was really far. Uh oh. She gone. That was nuts. Holy what? smokes. <laughs> Wow, look at this. Last two crunch traps, boys. Getting finished up. Did you see how many were already on the water? Yeah, they were all sitting on there the There was a place. lot. Lucy, yeah. hang on. We didn't even hear them laying. Oh, yeah. Three. Oh, yeah, three are, coming are they coming back? back? They're 11 o'clock. Really? <laughs> there it is. I got four out of the same flock. Yep. He's on the water to your left. Where? To your left, on the water. On the water. On the water. How's he alive? I can't load this gun. You gotta, you gotta load it faster. They're coming. Right here, right here. Wow, oh, it that's matter. it, baby. We're limited. Yeah, it doesn't matter. That's it. Limited ducks out of one flock. Yeah, one flock. You they kept you coming. Just shot, you just shot they kept five coming. Ducks out of one oh flock. my the gosh. I know. I'm like, keep loading, keep loading. Good girl, Luz. <laughs> Bring it back, Luz. What in the world was that? Was that was the craziest thing. That was thing. the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. Dude, they just kept coming back. Lucy. They just kept coming back. Started that GoPro, if you don't mind. Yeah, Come here, Luz. Craziest thing I've ever that seen. That was what, dude. Life. We're literally about done cooking crunch wraps. A billion gaddies come in. That was probably shoots like a few. They come back, shoots another one, come back, shoots another one, comes back. Look at Lucy. Holy smokes. <laughs> that one's alive on the water if you want to put another one in it. Yeah. Fetch!
Oh, that one. That one's on the on the on the. It's running. We gotta go. We gotta go. That one's hauling ass on the freaking. Uh, if you can get her to see it, she can get down. Come here, Lou. Come on. Holy smokes, that was chaos. Come here, Lucy. Hurry up. Come on. This one's mobile. He's mobile. Go, Lucy. Fetch, fetch, fetch. Go, Lucy. Go. She's going. She's going. She's going. She's going. He gone. Sheesh. Oh, the old swamp panther, baby. That's what I'm talking about right there. Holy smokes. That was the craziest. I don't even understand what just happened. I'll be honest with you. Like, Jake could not get his gun reloaded fast enough as they swung again and swung again and swung again. But he just shot a limit. That's a three man. And the best part is we got hot crunch wraps in the blind, baby. Mm. Sounded crunchy. I'm going in. Oh my god. Hot. Hot, hot. Mm. <laughs> he, just he just giggles. He just giggles. Put oh. a little Verde in there. Oh, smokes. Mm. Mm. Dude. That's not good? Yeah. Mm. It's not hot. It's just good. Look at that crunch wrap. Look at the layers. You got the hashy, you got the eggs, the bacon's in there. I mean, this thing's it's crispy. Oh my god. Mm. Nothing like shooting a three, man. Finish it off with some crunch wraps. There you go, Lucy. You can get your own little crunch wrap going here. She's been waiting. Well, boys, we're limited. We haven't seen a goose, so I'm going to just go ahead and say that the geese aren't going to fly today. I'm going to finish my breakfast, pick up the spread. we got a lot of birds to catch, clean, cook. We'll see you there. Shoo! All righty, folks. Well, we got them all cleaned up, and we... voila, Banjo. I'm here. Welcome. I didn't get invited to the hunt. That's also a complete lie. That's yeah, amazing. I was going to say, you definitely got invited. You just decided to go elsewhere. I was hunting. So. He, was, he was checking out the other states. Yeah. I, sh I shot my limit. He's putting the birds down. Yep. But we've got this. This is, does it say warning on the other side too? Yeah. yeah. You can't even tell what it is. It just tells you what not to do. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't tell you what to do. Okay. Mm -hmm. But what this is, is a state-of-the-art turkey slicer automatic 3000. Okay. We had the uh, manual one last year. Remember, it's like a little black, like it looks kind of like this. And you sit here and go, rum, 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 and, I'll be, and I'll get like a running start. And I'll be like, go. Go and then you and then you'd feed it. Remember yeah. that? You almost it, had Tommy John surgery. After yeah, that. yeah. <laughs> the elbow started getting a little, a little funny after that. So on Amazon, found this automatic. So you just flip it on, slice it. So we've got a bunch of the birds that we harvest. This what we enjoy doing, especially when we shoot a bunch of them. And it was time we got back to the jerky. And it'll be interesting because I haven't had our duck or even goose jerky since we've launched Beefcake Jerky. Obviously, yeah. since June. So like, I've been eating more jerky than I ever have in my entire life. I'd be interesting to go back to this. Because if you remember when we originally announced Beefcake Jerky, our goal was our original flavor to have kind of the homemade taste that you're gonna see here plus the smoky flavor. So we're gonna see kind of how close we got to it. We've got a little Walmart kit hickory blend, which should be about right. And we'll see, maybe we try this and go, eh, our original's good, but maybe this is just a little bit, a little bit more homemade and we could try coming out with maybe like a hunter's blend or something for beefcake jerky, no. where it literally just tastes like what we're about to make right here. So, we've never tried this before. I'm gonna turn this thing on. What do you think it's, it's over here? Look out. Whoa, you gotta, yeah, we gotta get top down. Can you see in there? Yeah, you definitely don't want your pecker in that sucker. I'll tell you what, that would be a bad deal. All right, here we go, boys. Woo wow. No way, wow. dude. Per oh, look out. Perfectly sliced jerky. That was crazy. How many years have you made jerky that like this? That takes so with long to do. I used to make it with a knife, and then last year or two years ago, we found the, the handle, and I thought it was life-changing. This is life-changing. I used to halfway freeze it, and I'd sit there with a knife and do slice after slice for hours. That is wow. nuts. That is like, wow. dude, if you had a ton of birds and you just wanted yeah. to go to town, like, I mean, as fast as you can feed this sucker, it'll take the meat. It just takes it. Like, this is, this is nuts. Like, this the difference is, is the time that you spend slicing is fast, the time you spend cleaning. True. It does take a little bit of time to clean this sucker. We haven't cleaned this one, but the other ones do take Isn't a little bit of time. Is that what the wife's for? No. <laughs> she did not like that comment. 
I would say I will I would rather spend a little extra time cleaning. Especially if you had a ton. Like imagine a bunch of geese, dude. Oh, you know how long it takes yeah. to slice a goose breast by hand? Holy smokes. I mean look But it's like consistently the same every time. Yeah, no, I mean we're about we're about done, done there, boys. And then yeah, your advantage is right, you're gonna have consistent thicknesses, That's okay? The best part. Because then sometimes your jerk will be too dry, sometimes it'll be too thick. That's it. That's it. That was the same. That's the fastest. That is yeah. the Look. Dude, that is a good investment. Look at that. You just leave a, a few of these little stringies. Not too bad. I wonder if like half frozen would be still half frozen. I bet I bet half frozen would, would prevent a lot of this. Yeah, there, Banjo. That's not edible. Ooh. Whatever that was. But yeah, you, I mean, you got a little pulling apart action, but not <clears throat> not too bad. See, you want to grab, since I'm already knuckles deep in this banjo, do you want to grab the, you see, you see a feather in there? What do you want? The see, I said, let's get the seasoning figured out. We got to, We'll have to read, we got a scale now, because we're professionals like that, so we can actually figure out how much. Yeah, I mean, I agree, Banjo, I think, because you just, you got a little bit of this, yeah. and I think, I think maybe, maybe, and maybe Frozen might not fix it. This could potentially be a flaw, I mean, look at this, you're gonna have to consistently do this. Now, do I think you could still marinate evenly and then do this as you're laying them out? Yeah. Probably, you probably don't have to do this right now, you, you could probably- pull them apart to lay them out anyway. That's also, so that's also really true, calls. that's mm -hmm. also true. It's not a big, you just wanna make sure they're not stuck together, because during the marination process, you wanna make sure it's nice, and even, but yeah, I, 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 I'd be interested to see if it was partially frozen, what would happen? Because these are relatively stuck together. Pretty I mean, like, good. How much time do you think that just saved? Like, For me to do it by hand like, would probably be 20, 20 or 30 yeah, minutes 20, probably. 30 minutes and that took time, a minute. Maybe. But I agree, like I think big, like a big goose hunt would be, that would this move. would be nuts. Like, mm -hmm. cause geese take forever cause it's just that much more meat. But yeah, see, like I just gotta make sure we break all this up. But we think so. We're doing whole muscle, whole muscle, correct? And you want full flavor or mid? Full, full. So I figured. No halves. We're doing no halves. Hickory. We got hickory. Okay. Hickory dickory dock. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah, it's a good song. You don't like that song? Sure. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know that. It's like a nursery rhyme. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what that. Big right? big nursery. Yeah. 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 He's still real. <laughs> Easy. Sometimes you, know, you gotta feel good before you go to bed. Yeah. You warm milk with that too, or what? Yeah, usually. Yeah. Nice yeah. warm bath too. <laughs> hey, I, I don't hate on baths. I take baths, okay? Baths are nice. A conversation is gonna light you up. For what, taking baths? You're gonna get smoked. What, what's wrong with taking a bath from time to time? I feel like baths are totally acceptable. Salts in your bath. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't do bath bombs, Banjo. I have. <laughs> she loves it. Why is he so? Why is he so worked up over a bath? I'm not. It's fine. Uh, do we have? Uh, I say, do we have any liquid smoke, Banjo? Because. I, I, I occasionally like to dabble with that. I'm trying to think, I had some at the old house. I don't know if I transported it. <laughs> that was a year ago. It did not expire. Is there some in there? There's some Worcestershire in there, I see. Yeah. No, but it'll oh, work. I used that once last year, it was good. Did you use that? Hickory smoke marinade. This. Smell it, make sure it's not expired. Well, we'll just throw a little bit on there. I mean, it's not gonna hurt. It smells good. Little dates on the back, what's it say? What's that say? Two years ago? 04, 27, 23. Yeah. So yeah, it is expired. Just By quite a way. <laughs> well, we don't have to use it then. No, I don't care. I don't think it's gonna kill you. Just take a swig. Don't what? Oh, don't, that was do not so swig bad. that. It tastes so bad. Okay, so we need to weigh this thing to figure yeah. out. Manager brought this from home. He uses this a lot. Wow. Three pounds, three point five ounces. Minus one point five ounces for this guy. Which is zero. Three, with three, that's fine. Yeah. I just weighed that. Is that not the same? No, it's totally fine. Okay. It, it would be three point two ounces. Yes. So three, what's three pounds? Is that is that a number on there? Um, so it gives you per pound how much cure and seasoning you need. Okay, so, so it's times it by three. That'd be nine teaspoons of seasoning. I feel like we could round up to a tablespoon at that point. Okay. How many teaspoons are in a tablespoon? Like three and a half or something. Oh, oh. Well, if there's halves, I'm out then. Yeah, I'm no, out. we'll just do nine. No. I'm out then. And then it says for every pound of meat, you need one level teaspoon. Of cure. Of cure. So three. All right, nine. let's put that all in a bowl. We're gonna get it mixed up. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. We got the seasoning and the cure all mixed up. Evenly, evenly spread it. Give her a nice mix. It smells really good. Oh, yes. Mm hmm. It is the season, boys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. This is the good stuff. I'm excited. It's been a whole year since we've done this. Bringing it back. You you gonna throw that expired stuff in there or no? I'm letting you make the call. I don't want to. I don't want to ruin it. I don't want to get you sick. I feel like it would probably be fine. I mean, I mean, what could expire in it? I don't know. 
That's what I'm saying. I feel like he'd be alright. Maybe we should probably shed. Okay. What? It could, it could ruin the batch. I don't know. Yeah. It's, pr it's not worth it, Big Junior. I just wait. Kind of smells like shit now. <laughs> <laughs> I would. I wouldn't ruin it. I wouldn't ruin it. Oh. All right. So that's what you're dealing with. You, we got some saran wrap banjo. What we'll do for this, whether it's a bowl or a pan, cover it up because if you get a bunch of oxygen in there, it's not terrible, but it just to me, I feel like marinating. You're gonna want to cover that sucker. That. There it is. Here, you guys would want to. Just... Okay, got it. You don't think I'm actually No, you got it. Up? No, you got it. Look at you. I got it all right. Look at you. You can just press it in you know, there. Say you press it the way and just do another sheet. Just press it in there. Press it against the meat. There it is. Yep. That's yep. Nancy, zero air. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just like that. Bam! Stick in the fridge, 24 to 48 hours. We're going to dehydrate it and see what it tastes like. Yes, say too. That's the sound of happiness right there, Banjo. How does it make you feel? Well, I'm happy. Well, we got two days of marimination. Okay. That smells pretty good. I like it. So, look what we got dangling here, boys. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Brings back the Madness Banjo. It's been a minute. So, what you got to do here now. Going knuckle deep. Yep, we're going in, Banjo. Take off the Apple Watch. We're about to get serious yep. here. We're going to go ahead and take these pieces. Since it's duck, you're going to get a lot of these little guys, but those are okay. Them little nuggets. I don't mind them little nuggets. They're great. But since it's perfectly sliced, evenly sliced, should turn out good. So we're gonna basically lay these out. We've got four racks and a dehydrator over there. We don't know how long this is gonna take. It's one of those put it in there and maybe after a few hours go check on it and then for every hour check on it after that. My guess, if I were just to take a stab at it, six hours, seven hours, do you think? Usually, yeah. It's, it's not like usually overnight, but it's it's close in my experience, but slow is better. Could be a little bit, could be a little bit Slower could be a little bit faster. We'll let you know so you kind of know what you're anticipating. I grew up making these in the oven though. I didn't have a dehydrator growing up. So we, we would put the oven as low as possible and then crack the lid. Best part is, dude, the house, oh, it smelled so good all day long. You just knew you were in for a treat. So we're gonna go ahead and get all these sheets laid out, put them in the dehydrator, and we'll see you guys when it's done. Bingo, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. This is what you want to see in life, all right? This is what gets me excited at night, Banjo. Really? Or any time of the day, I should say. Not necessarily at night, but just thinking about this. All right, start. Well, hang on. Let me figure out the temp first. Dang, that's really low. Well, that's really low. That's not going to cook anything. That's... That's not even safe eating temperature. No. I think I usually 130. 130 is the lowest I do. We'll do that. It'll take a while. And then the time set at eight hours. That must be worth something. I think I did that last time. I'll go ahead and set it just, oh, hang on. I'm gonna set it for five, I will come check it. I More than likely it won't be done, you just don't overdo it. And the, the aroma in this room is gonna be immaculate. Stay tuned. Shoo! Think fast. Really? Got you guys two bags of jerky. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we're at the warehouse. It wasn't done until like 10 p.m. last night. And so we couldn't eat it right away. It would've been, that would've been like seven hours. And it's not dried out either. Like it's 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 about there. So took it out last night, threw it in the refrigerator, figured come bring it to the boys while they're at work. What yeah. do you think? What's going on there? What do you think about that? Said chewy piece or no? Some of them were a little thicker than others. Some weren't too bad. What do you got going on there? Is there a, is a, is a, is a little is a little wangy? Hang on, let me let me get in there. I had a couple pieces straight out the deal. That was a good piece. Good texture. I think seasoning is a little light. Mm -hmm. I think it could use a little. Smoke barbecue or something. Uh huh. Mm. Not having liquid smoke hurt. Mm hmm. I agree. I think we we look for liquid smoke. Remember the hickory and it was expired, but that wasn't actually liquid smoke. It was just a smoke flavor. Mm. Something about it though. I like it how it's not like super dry. Yeah. No, it's got a little chew to it. No, it's nice and moist. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That one's pretty good though. I like that one. I'll throw this in my blind bag. Mm hmm. It's, it's good. Is that one any better? Teal breast slice there. You like that one? Is that better? Delicious. Yeah. You might have made me got a little spoon action or what? I think I did. Mm. Well, I said pretty good. I think we need to up the seasoning a little bit. Add a little bit of liquid smoke. But I'll be honest, I've eaten more jerky, beef jerky, pork jerky, in the last six months than I ever have. And then after coming back to this and not having this for a year, we need to come out with something that tastes like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Little little hunters, hunters blend, hunter specialty. I think I think it's needed. Because ours is and this was a hickory, right? Yeah. So hickory and mosquito are kind of my two go-tos. Yeah. I feel like we might need to develop one that's catered to hunters that tastes even more. Cause our original, we we geared our original to taste 
like homemade duck jerky, but we couldn't go way over. We had to get it kind of right in the middle where people that don't hunt would still enjoy it. But I feel like a hunter's blend would be would be what we need right now, Banshee. Are you gonna get to work on that or what? Yeah. Start start developing it. A little super smoke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little super smoke action. I think it's pretty good. What do you think? Who gave you a pen? You signing the checks around here or what? Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed today's video. The least has birds at least. That's good. Thank goodness. Fantastic. Yep. Next, you coming next time or what? You really? Yeah, invite me. I did. I, I did invite this. Dude, I can't stop eating this. This is like. I'm addicted. Mm. It was good stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. And remember, everything you saw in today's video, the call we use, even this little quarter zip I'm wearing, the hats, the gear, everything you saw in today's episode is available. Link down in the description down below at ducksworthafowl.com. We'll catch you next time. And peace.